In this video, I will show you how to create fashion design bags, purses, and shoes using AI, tips on what materials to use, and sites where you can sell those designs or sites where you can make your own product designs. Wait, wait. That would mean this video will be like the other video wherein I explain how to create fashion design for clothes using AI and I'm just changing it to bags, purses, and shoes. I know looking at these designs is amazing and you can create this using Midjourney and ChatGPT. But how about I challenge myself? How about we create these items using recycled materials instead? Although I won't be able to show the process of how the recycled material was curated, the question is, will Midjourney be able to create practical items using recycled material? Let's find out. Also, take note that I am not a designer. I'm just providing you the opportunity where you can make passive income using AI. Step 1. In the previous video, we already established that there is a gap in the Etsy market for AI fashion design products. We can still make those designs with normal means like how I provided the step-by-step -step process in that tutorial and change it into bags, purses, or shoes instead of clothes. By the way, if you haven't watched it, please click on the link above this video. We still have to follow the basic steps, but I won't discuss it here since I showed that in the other video. I already chose my search term, designer bags, and created our persona. Step two, check your materials. Now this is important because like in the other video, some materials don't go well with other materials. In the description below, I created a simple guide combining fashion materials for bags, purses, and shoes, just in case you create one in the normal means. Okay, for this video, we'll be using corks and straws for the bags, and then recycled plastic drinking straws for the purse and shoes. Step three, since we already have our persona, now we need to ask what design we want from ChatGPT. For this video, I chose knapsack for the bag, clutch purse for the purse, pumps for the women's shoes. Since we know what we want, now we need to ask ChatGPT to create a design for us. For the women, we need to type in, now I want you to create a designer purse using recycled plastic drinking straw materials while incorporating our persona. Make sure it is out of the box and unique. And this goes with also with the pumps. And for the male version, uh, we just change it to designer knapsack using corks and straw materials. And do not use leather or canvas. You need to add that as well. So this is the result. This is our persona. Now here is for the, okay, this is for the, I already created this in advance so that I won't waste your time because we're going to wait for it to finish. So this is for the pumps. As you can see, uh, it already provided the Emily persona. I already added this just to make sure. And then for the men, let's check for the men. For the men, where is that? There we go, here. Um, I changed it, uh, no, I didn't change anything. I just put in cork and straw materials and added do not use leather or canvas. Step four, provide the information to Midjourney. If you haven't signed up to Midjourney, click on the link above this video on how to start. Or I recommend my friends 80% off AI art course for beginners. He easily explains on how to start on Midjourney and prompts. You can find that in the description below. Since we already have our information, I went ahead and added it in Midjourney. As you can see, it is possible to create recycled items as a material for Midjourney. So, but the looks of this is really, I mean, it's good. But some designs doesn't look <laughs> realistic. It, this is like, uh, it's possible to create this. I think it and creating it in um, 3D printer, it is possible, but I, ha I have to assume that you'll be removing this kind of design, right? So I already went ahead and chose the ones I think this looks cool. And 
went to the theme that we already chose this one for the bag it looks cool and this one's for the shoes so you just have to remove this part here and so on like this one too it looks like real straws that it was created for shoes now if you created the items in normal means it will be different of course but yeah it's possible to create that uh, in mid journey now we go to step five for step five you can render the images in photoshop or gigapixel i chose gigapixel because it's easy to use but if you use Photoshop, you can create a vector format of the, the design that you have. Let me show you for Gigapixel. You just click on Browse, and then this is our designs. And then click on Open, and it will update. Once done updating, save the images, and hit on Start. That's easy. But there's a better way of doing this once you're done updating the image you have three options either upload it directly to etsy or create a vector format and video it how it's created but you won't be able to show the measurement the better option is to go to this site called clo 3d i'll show you why this is a better option if you want to create the shoes the bags or the purse yourself or hire someone to do it for you this site is for you this helps you create a 3d model of your design with measurements you can even record the process and then add this 3d model to etsy and make it more appealing or you can just add everything or upload everything to etsy and to earn passive income now there are alternatives for col 3d you can click on the link down below and i'll show you what I mean by measurements there we go that's the measurements that I was talking about now if you want to know more about AI and how it can help you please click on the link above this video thank you